We have told our international partners who are pushing us to sit with Raira Odinga. We have told church leaders who are telling us to sit with Raira Odinga that we are willing to sit with him but not to discuss his forceful entry into government. We are telling our friends that we cannot violate the constitution. Our constitution has no provision for Raila Odinga to come into government through the back door. And we are telling our friend, our, our elder Raila Odinga, the only way to get into government is through the ballot. There is no other way. You have gotten away too many times. You brought violence, you destroyed property, you sowed fear. Unfortunately for you, the President of the Republic of Kenya and his deputy cannot buy fear. You are saying? You have embarked on destruction of property in Nairobi and Kisumu. You have interrupted businesses as you pursue selfish agenda. But your time is up, and I'm happy Kenyans are getting tired. Today in Nairobi, work is going on. People have opened shops, business is going on, and that is the way to go. These demonstrations will fizzle away. Now it's Kibra and Kisumu. By next week, it will be Kisumu. By the other week, it will be in his home. So we want Kenyans to join the people of coast. And I'm so excited. That we are here anchoring 500 young men and women to go and do something useful for themselves and the country. When our elder brother <laughs> is encouraging young people to throw stones at other people and to loot property and to cause chaos and mayhem. It's unfortunate and we tell Raida Odinga you have been very unfair to this country. You have been very unfair to this country. It's about time you made a decision. And come, sit down with the President William Ruto and discuss one agenda only. Your exit from the Kenyan political space and permanent retirement. <laughs>